Royal author Omid Scobie has responded after claims that a translation of his new book named a royal as the racist who questioned the skin color of Meghan Markle's then-unborn child. During the Sussex's 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle claimed a member of the royal family inquired how dark their son Archie would be. They accused the unnamed senior royal of expressing concern about their child's complexion in the bombshell interview. In the book, named Endgame, Mr. Scobie reveals that there were in fact two royals who made derogatory remarks about Archie's skin colour, adding in interviews this week that UK law prevented him from revealing their names. But a review copy of the book sent to Dutch journalists appears to plainly state the identity of the royal who allegedly made the remarks. Mr. Scobie has since come out and said he wasn't responsible for the apparent blunder. Speaking to Dutch chat show RTL Boulevard today, he said, The book is in several languages, and unfortunately I do not speak Dutch. But if there are translation errors, I'm sure the publishers will have it under control. I wrote and edited the English version. There's never been no version that I've produced that has names in it. It's not yet known how the name ended up included in the translation. Mr. Scobie said UK law prevented him from printing the names, although they were detailed in private letters from Meghan to King Charles, he claimed. Referring to the letters, the Dutch version of the book reads, but in those private letters an identity was revealed and confirmed. Zander, the publishers of the Dutch translation of Mr. Scobie's Endgame, said in a statement they were temporarily withdrawing the book by Omid Scobie from sale. An error occurred in the Dutch translation and is currently being rectified. Buckingham Palace has declined to respond to the book's claims or the removal of the Dutch edition. The book has been searingly critical of the royal family. Become an Express Premium member support fearless journalism read the Daily Express online. Advert free get super fast page loading start 30 day free trial it portrays Prince William as hot headed and paints divides between him and King Charles over the latter's handling of the Jeffrey Epstein scandal involving the Duke of York. The book also claims Buckingham Palace was angered after the Prince of Wales immediately distanced himself from former lady-in-waiting Lady Susan Hussey after she asked Ngozi Fulani, a black charity leader, where she was really from. It also claims Charles, derived some schadenfreude, from the Cambridge's criticised tour of the Caribbean. It has also received mixed reviews. Daily Express royal editor Emily Ferguson wrote the book is sickeningly positive about the pair and the entire book is littered with Sussex spin. The Daily Telegraph described Endgame as laughably partial, devoid of insight and bizarrely misogynistic, while the New York Times said, readers hoping for a final death blow of gossip will be disappointed. Meanwhile, the Times branded Endgame not so much an incisive look at why he thinks the monarchy is doomed, more a mishmash of ancient history.